All right, in this section, we're gonna discuss naming alkanals and alkanones. So just a couple of different functional groups on our parent alkane chain. Alkanals are formed by attaching a CHO group to the terminal carbon of an alkane chain. So if this R is our parent chain, then that means we're at the end of it, and at the end of that parent chain, we add C double bond O H. Numbering starts at the carbon in the CHO group. So this will always be carbon one, regardless of any other substituents. Now, if I had an eight carbon chain, that would be octane. For the naming of an alkanal, we'll replace the E, so octane would become octanal, octanal. Alkanones are similar to alkanals because they have a double bonded oxygen, but they're between two carbon carbon chains, two alkyl groups. So instead of an H here, like we had for an alkanal, we have another R group. R represents one side of the alkane chain and R prime represents the other side. So think about like one big long um, carbon-carbon chain and somewhere in the middle you have a carbon bonded, double bonded to an oxygen. The two sides here don't have to be the same. So it's not like this is coming right in the middle of the chain. Numbering starts at the end closest to the double bond. So like if there's three carbons on this side and four carbons on the left side, we would start our numbering at the right. And then when we're writing the naming, so again, let's just imagine we had an eight carbon chain. So that would be octane. We would replace the E in the A-N-E ending by O-N-E. So octane, for example, would become octanone. All right, here's example one. We're gonna write the name or name the molecule shown in the image. Let's start with identifying and naming the main chain. So our main chain is right here, just our carbons, right? And we have one, two, three, four, five, six of them. So our main chain will be hexane. All right, next we need to number the carbons. And so when we have this terminal double bond O, the numbering always begins at that carbon. So I will begin from the right towards the left. So you can see the numbering there, one through six from right to left. Okay, so you can see indicated on the diagram the numbering of the carbons. And as we discussed, we always start at that terminal carbon. Not really necessary because we're always going to start on that end, but it helps us especially down the line if we have any substituent groups. Now we identify the functional group. And so because we have this <clears throat> double bond O, C double bond O, single bond H, that's an alkanal. group on carbon number one, an alkanal group on carbon one. You can see highlighted in green that CHO group or that alkanal group. And now we just need to write the name. There are no substituent groups here. This is just a simple um, structure. So we just have to remember that for naming, we replace the E with A-L, hexanal. All right, so just here we summarize everything we did in the naming of this molecule and the name that we end up with in the end, hexanal.
All right, here's example two. Step one in the five steps of naming this structure is to identify and name the main chain. So you can see a C double bond to an oxygen there. In the <clears throat> right here, and so here's our main chain, and it is one, two, three, four, five carbons long. So a five carbon chain we will call pentane. Once we identify our main chain, we need to number the carbons. And we're going to start at the end closest to the double bond oxygen. So one, two, three, four, five, from left to right. All right, from here, once we've numbered the carbons, we need to identify the functional group. So if I highlight in green, we can see this functional group right here. It's a C double bonded to an O. And then on either end, we were bonded to a carbon here, so an R on this side. And then on this side, we're bounded to a different um, alkyl group. So this is an alkanone. This is an alkanone. So in green, I've highlighted my functional group. It's that C double bond O group. Now, to which carbon is that functional group bonded? We just can see here it's bonded to carbon two. All right, the last thing we do is take all this, these pieces together and name the molecule. So we'll start with what carbon the functional group is. So two, then it would be pentane, P-E-N, But we replace the N, uh, the E at the end with O, N, E. So this is called 2-pentanone. All right, here is a final summary of example two with our parent chain, the number of carbons, the functional group, and then finally the name, which we wrote on the previous slide, 2-pentanone.